Hello everybody, this is David. Welcome back to my channel. Well, this is the next in our series, Made in the Image of God, or Made in God's Image. And in the next few videos, I just want to look at the uniqueness of mankind. And I want to look at certain features that make us unique. And the first one I want us to look at is we have a unique upright stature. And one of the most important differences between humans and apes, for example, or monkeys, is that humans are designed to stand and move on two legs on the ground. And in contrast, apes are mainly designed to climb trees and uh, grip branches with all four limbs. And when apes do move on the ground, they are designed to stand and move on four limbs. And that's why they're uh, sometimes referred to as knuckle walkers. Now the human body has at least 10 design features that enable uh, standing and walking, uh, upright standing and walking should I say. And those 10 features are fine balance in the vertical planes, a flat face, an upright skull, a straight back, upright hip joints, angled femur bone, upright knee joints, long legs, arched feet, and strong big toes. Now in technical terms, human beings are what's known as a biped, whereas apes and monkeys are quadrupeds. Humans have a design that enable us to walk and run long distances with great agility. Now in contrast, apes are relatively clumsy on the ground and cannot travel far. And apes find it difficult and unnatural to walk on two legs. Now we have an up, a unique upright uh, skeleton. Humans have a unique upright knee, hip, back and skull joints that are just right for upright movement. In contrast, apes have joints that are just right for four-limbed movement. Now, creationists, people that believe the, uh, that God has created us, has created humanity, believe that the upright human skeleton could not have evolved step-by-step uh, step from a four-legged creature because many features are required simultaneously. Uh, if an ape-like creature had only some of the features required for an upright stature, it would not be able to move properly on either two or four limbs. This is what's known as irreducible complexity. Okay, we also got unique arched feet. The human foot is one of the most important design features required for an upright stature. The human foot has a unique arch structure between the heel and the sole. This arch gives humans the ability to push on the front and the back of the foot. The arch foot enables humans to stand on their toes, making it possible for them to have extreme fine balance in running and, and other sports activities. Now, some scientists believe that the human foot could not have evolved step by step because the art structure requires several parts to exist simultaneously. Again, it's irreducible complexity, a very uh, technical term that I suggest you have a look at, look it up. Now, the great scientist Leonardo da Vinci said that the human foot was, and I quote, a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art, end of quote. And we also have, human, humans also have unique upright mobility. An upright stature gives humans a unique mobility. Everyday activities like walking, gardening, for example, housework and sport involve fine balance on two legs. The upright mobility of humans enables them to perform a myriad of created and precise tasks in work and play. 
So that's uh, one feature of the unique design of humanity, our unique upright stature. So I want to thank you for joining me in this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.